personal podcast. Uh, we've been out for about two years now, and we talk to people um, just nationally, internationally, about what they like to do in regards to either growing or if they're a dispensary owner and even artists and just everything that makes them tick in regards to alternative herbs. We try to find that out and figure out what's up with them. Okay, so what's the name of your company again? Um, Smoke to Smoke Podcast, but we branched out now that we're in Colorado out to the Shroom to Shroom Podcast as well. So we've got both sides of the show where we do roundtable discussions on things like ego death, um, different um, existential and philosophical topics, but then also just the interviews um, and the product reviews and stuff. Wow, okay, that's interesting, that's interesting. So, what are some of your favorite topics that you like talking about? Um, I mean, at the the heart of it, weed. I love talking about weed, all things, um, whether it be um, just women's health or if it's like um, life as a parent with cannabis, what that really looks like for you in different states. Uh, we talk to people in London about what um, it looks like out there because their cannabis and mushroom laws are nightmarish and different in a lot of ways compared to ours. And, um, we just, I mean, honestly, I love every topic we've talked about on the show. I'm not really too particular about anything because I always learn something new. For sure. That's pretty legit. So these people come down. Uh, is this all, like, within your own studio? Uh, no. Uh, my studio is, it started out kind of as, like, a four, four by four closet. Um, but we've got a little bit more space now. But um, it's a remote interview all online based. <laughs> Um, as long as you've got a good Wi-Fi connection and a laptop, we want to hear your story about um, what got you into the industry in the first place. And, yeah. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. So anybody from around the world can tune in, basically, is what you're saying, yeah, to if, this conversation. Yeah, if you've got Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Deezer, we're on all major streaming platforms, except YouTube, because we are an audio only show. Okay, love it, love it, okay. And uh, what made you, like, begin this, would you say? You know, personal inspiration or whatever you call it. I mean, I started it because um, once I got my med card out in Arkansas, I was... It was a complete 180 from what I was really expecting to learn about the industry in the first place. I really was trying to get into it just because I wanted a safer way to smoke. But I learned that there was actually like medicinal benefits that could help me with my PTSD and um, with my back and just um, all health aspects in life. Sure. And so that's when I decided I wanted to actually share that story with people and learn more about other people's stories as well and what helped them. Okay, right on, right on. And uh, if somebody wanted to tune in to this conversation, where would they go? Um, like I said, you can go to either Spotify, Apple Podcasts, um, Google Podcasts, Deezer, iHeartRadio, or you can look at smoke to smoke podcastcom for all our streaming platforms, all social media, and all things smoke to smoke Okay, right on. Do you remember the first time you got high? Um, or smoked weed, I should say. It, it's been a minute, but... Um, Honestly, no. At this point, the fact that I've been smoking for the past three hours too, it's like I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't get the story in my mind if I wanted to. All right, yeah, for sure, for sure. Do you got a favorite strain by chance that you've always kind of gone to? My favorite strain, if it's not sour diesel, it's gonna be green crack. Like that's definitely my go-to right there. Oh, okay, okay. And uh, personally, why is that a strain that you are vibing with? Um, I just like the brightness of sativa, something that will get me up and going and um, give me that energy to where I've had like a nice steady buzz, but still able to get down to brass taxes and not just completely be laid out all the time. There's time for indicas, but that's not really just my jam 100% of the time and looking for relaxing. Do you have a favorite indica, personally? Favorite indica ice cream painter. Okay, for sure, for sure. Right on. Well, I can't thank you enough for the time that you've taken with me. I really look forward to getting involved in that conversation too, for sure. And uh, so, what are you looking forward uh, for weed uh, moving forward in the future, personally? Uh, I'm looking for more spaces where we can just go out and consume freely, like here at the Cannabis Fest, because we need to have more opportunities to get together and just enjoy each other's company and um, vibe and learn like what all everybody has to offer but if we just stay cooped up in our house and just smoking like there's no fun in that so hopefully we'll branch out more across not only Colorado but just nationwide and have more community base. Definitely definitely hear and feel that for yeah. sure so well thank you so much. Of course. Later. <laughs>